Welcome everyone to the National Historic Cheese Making Museum. Today, we will be talking about everything about cheese. What do pizza, sandwiches, and nachos all have in common? You guessed it, it's cheese. Today on the tour, we will be talking about the history of this iconic food and how it came to be. Then we will be talking about the various types of cheeses and what makes them so different. And finally, we will be looking at the health and nutritional facts that this famous food is associated with. What did people even do before cheese was invented? Although the actual time and origin of when cheese was invented is a mystery, historians do know that the idea was closely related to the domestication of milk producing animals, which started around eight to 10,000 years ago. Besides the origin of cheese being a mystery, historians believe that cheese was becoming very popular and was making a spread across the Roman Empire. Along with the Roman Empire, cheese was also starting to become very big in Europe and the Middle East. After bringing the idea of cheese from England to America, as America was still expanding, states like Vermont, New York, and Massachusetts provided cheese to the growing colonies in the West. Flash forward to now, cheese is, very, is still very popular. It is especially popular in Wisconsin, which is commonly known as the cheese state. Cheese first started to become popular in Wisconsin when the first farmstead cheese factory was created in Koshkanag, Wisconsin. According to the National Historic Cheesemaking Museum, Wisconsin's cheese history has been around for 180 years and plays a huge part in the state's economy. Moving along to the different types of cheese, there are around 1,800 different types of cheese. Cheese Louise, that's a lot of cheddar. The first type of cheese is feta. Feta is a white and crumbly cheese and is usually made from goat and cow's milk. It is a bold flavored cheese and it's, you can usually find it on Greek salads or gyros. Another type of cheese is mozzarella. Mozzarella is an Italian cheese and is usually made from cow and buffalo's milk. It is a white and soft cheese, and unlike other cheeses, it is not aged. It is eaten fresh. You can find mozzarella on top of your favorite pizza or, and my favorite, fried cheese sticks. Moving along to another type of cheese, that is Gouda. Gouda is from the Netherlands, and it is usually a white and full-flavored sweet cheese. It is usually made from cow, goat, or sheep's milk. <clears throat> According to cheese.com, oh, and you can find it on a popular charcuterie board. According to cheese.com, Gouda is one of the most popular cheeses in the world and makes up 50 to 60% of the world's cheese consumption. But I, just, but I guess you'll just have to take my curd for it. Moving along to the, to the last type of cheese is cheddar. Cheddar is always made from cow's milk and it is an aged cheese. It gets, the flavor gets sharper as it ages. That's why cheddar ranges from mild to sharp. Cheddar cheese was originally invented in Cheddar, England, and has been around since at least the 12th century. <clears throat> now, you may be wondering if cheese is good for you or if you're cheddar off without it. Cheese is good for you because it contains things like high calcium, fat, and protein, as well as vitamins A and B12. According to healthline.com, high processed cheeses like blue cheese and cheddar contain high amounts of conjugated linoleic acid, which help reduce heart disease and obesity. 100% grass-fed animals make cheeses that contain more conjugated linoleic acid. But cheese also has some, but, uh, but even though cheese has good health benefits, it also contains lactose, which some people cannot process. <clears throat> it also contains high fat and high sodium, which can 
be dangerous to people with high blood pressure. The top three healthiest cheeses are mozzarella, blue cheese, and feta cheese as they are high in calcium and low in sodium. Overprocessed cheeses like American and Velveeta aren't usually considered real cheeses and don't have the same health benefits. As with everything, moderation is key. Thank you guys so much for coming to the National Historic Cheesemaking Museum and going on this tour with me. I hope it wasn't too cheesy for you. Today we talked about the many, the history of this food and how it came to be. Then we talked about the many <clears throat> types of cheeses and what makes them so different. And finally, the nutritional and health facts that cheese is associated with. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.